Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. I hope you all had a great start to your new weekend here. Unfortunately, at the time of this recording, we are so close, but not quite there on the Like Street goal. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we cross that either on this video or yesterday's video so we can get to the 3,000 mark and do the Glitch Chaos Run tomorrow. But if it doesn't happen, then we'll definitely be hitting it on Wednesday because, again, we have a couple videos that are just at the right at the edge of 3,000 likes. So if you want to make it happen, definitely go back and check out the other videos. Or if you want to support the channel, just click the like button. It's the easiest thing to do. Here's your picture of the day, adorableness of the day, sent in here by BookLife92. Title thread was Youngest Invicta Fan. And then during the thread, or in the thread, they also said our four-month-old could be in the middle of a meltdown, but the moments Invicta comes on, the, on she watch, she stops to watch. And absolutely adorable. I can't tell which episode that's from, so I don't know when this picture was taken, but that is just, that's so awesome. Thank you very much, Book Life, for sharing that. And uh, yeah, welcome, welcome a new member to the Mosh Pit. So, stop on in. Get this Saturday rocking and rolling. Hope your weekends are awesome. Oh boy. Steve Day is going to be Echo 6, Papa Delta, 8-3, Echo 7. Starting off with Sackhead and Tear Detonator. Um, we also have the Swallowed M80, which I guess we can just hold on to. Tears Rate, not the best. Um, damage, not the best. Movement Speed, god awful. Shot Speed, even worse than the Movement Speed. So, yeah, this is definitely going to cause us to take Demon Baby here. Now, you all know my opinions on Demon Baby. I think the Demon Baby is not good um, in certain situations. There are certain times where Demon Baby can be quite strong, um, especially if you have Mom's Box of Friends or you have a way to essentially buff his damage. You have a lot of mobility. <clears throat> you can get Demon Baby close to the targets. He can actually cause quite a quite a bit of damage. Um, you just got to be careful with him shooting bombs, and more importantly, you got to be careful about the whole jostling clown physics situation because obviously if, you're, if he's shooting something that's charging you, it can inadvertently shoot it right, basically right into Eden or Iden. Or Iden? I, I don't know who Iden is. Isaac. The combination of Eden and Isaac. Oh, okay. Get the Cantor Trinket, which is going to give us a passable uh, tiers rate. 3.47 now. We're going to have to just hold on to that forever. Uh, we got... Uh, where do we get five bombs from? Oh, it was from the it was from the Sackhead. I'm, I'm, don't, don't listen to me. I'm not looking to try to bomb the donation machine right now. Um, definitely want the Soul Heart, but we're not going to take it until after we go into the boss room. Hoping that we get some kind of damage or tears upgrade or shot speed would be nice. Sauce right there. The combined power of Eden and Demon Baby able to hold down that, uh, hold off that charging gaper. Which is my favorite band name, by the way. Hello, St. Louis. We're the charging gaper. That, 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 let's, you know what? Let's not, let's not even go there. I almost walked into that and that would have been a very unceremonious end to everything. A rare soul heart here, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab that from the poop. Look, I don't make up the names in Isaac, all right? I just I call I call them as they're labeled. That's 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 it. You you don't like the names and stuff? Hey, take it up with Ed. You go, Demon Baby, doing a good job there, taking out these head turrets. And I know sometimes I don't call them by the right name, but when I do, they're named they're <laughs> named Gapers. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, let's let's just let's just move on here. Uh, tier, detonator, tier Detonator is going to allow us to essentially explode our tiers, and it's very good if you have stuff like Piercing Shots or like even, say, Compound Fracture or Cricket's Body. Um, Parasite's also very good because it basically just creates these... It, it's almost like remote... It's almost like remote mines in a way. Like, it, it's kind of like playing Path of Exile if you're playing a mines build, um, which I... By the way, I did start my character on Path of Exile for the Affliction League, and so far, I'm actually kind of digging the, the League mechanic. Um, but back to, uh, yes, we do need a movement. I mean, we need a all, we need a all everything uh, up right now. Uh, but back, yeah, back to Tier Detonator. Tier Detonator is actually quite good at killing enemies early on. Um, it's also very strong in that it allows you to essentially give yourself a remote detonation of tiers that you don't have to worry about positioning with um especially especially if you have piercing if you have piercing spectral tiers which we obviously don't have right now um but hopefully we'll be able to get something like that tech zero of course is extremely strong uh with i with uh, the tier detonator um hamel Lacry is also extremely strong so we've got a lot of options here and it's i would dare say i don't even think it's unfair to say that the tier detonator is kind of underrated um you know at first glance you look at it you're like eh, it's not really all that great but man, it it can it can 
it, it can carry hard. So we end up getting a per throw rune, which is going to give us a D6 roll on the next item pedestal that we want. Obviously, we're going to be wanting to keep this for the devil deal on the next floor. We're not going to go in the curse room. We don't have enough HP to really sacrifice a soul heart, so we'll just be happy with that. Unless, of course, it's Curse of the Blind. So, gonna be one of those days as a game. So while we're just gonna skim through this level real quick, we're gonna go over to last week's question of the episode, which was, <coughs> what's your take on Compound Fracture? And uh, an item that we unironically were just talking about. And Compound Fracture, it's one of those, no. I mean, I like no, but like it's not better than cancer. Um, uh, we we can't. It, it, I will not get cursed eye on this on this run. No, I refuse. I, I will not be tempted. <coughs> um, but yeah, compound fracture. It's it's an item that is usually okay to take, in my opinion. You just have to be careful about the jostle physics, and that's what I'm officially causing. That's a, what I'm officially calling the the clown physics in Isaac is uh other than clown physics because i mean like clown physics sounds like it's a it, it's not a nice term so i won't say clown physics all the time although i probably still will we'll, we'll say jostle physics you know jostling around um you got to be careful with compound fracture because of the fact that it does kind of move things around in a weird awkward way especially when they're running after isaac so you got to be careful with it but overall i think i still think it's a net positive to runs and the most upvoted comment came in uh, from Max Pare, longtime member of the Mosh Pit, uh, who said, "Oh man, uh, I love the I love it for the same reason I love Cricket's body. Extra shots going everywhere and hitting stuff. And yeah, it's just a shot multiplier in the most literal sense. Like, it doesn't deal more damage. You just you get more damage out of it per shot because you're firing more shots per shot. Does that make sense? Yo, dog, I heard you like shots, so we put more shots in your shots so you can more shoot more while you're shooting. Yeah, that's that's how that goes." As we'll take a little bit of a dip dive here into this this here chest, and we're just gonna, not gonna not gonna take that, but we will go back for our birth room room. So the second most look upvoted comment came in from Der Connoisseur, who said, "Amazing item, the solid range up and burst effect make it too good to pass up. Combined with Tech Zero and some decent tears rate, the damage dealt in the end is amazing." And then Der Connoisseur also threw out a bunch of uh, a bunch of bone emojis there. They also have the they also have the forgotten as. Uh, as their uh, their YouTube icon, at least at the time it's recording away. So I, I really like that. And last but not least, we also had Darkfire Masu, who said, honestly, it's just the appeal of turning your tears into little bones. You can shoot, make them a very that makes it a very fun item to take. Yeah, I mean, it's a like like I said, it, there are if you see. So that right there was a perfect example of why Demon Baby isn't a top tier item in my opinion. Um, we, I, I will not give the game the pleasure of knowing that we got a blind devil deal. So what you saw Demon Baby do right there, that is what I'm talking about. When he propelled Gemini like forward at light speed and caused us to take damage, that's a that is an automatic automatic negative mark for me on any item that can do that and uh Hotbound fracture and demon baby kind of do the same thing wow that was a quick reload i saw that i saw that one um so you, you just have to be careful of that because again you can't expect it all to make sense in isaac it's, it's going to happen like things things that are that are chasing you being shot from the front somehow accelerate forward and get closer to you um so be careful with that but compound fracture does do the same thing in a in a way like if it if anything gets hit from the side or from the back, it's going to hit Isaac. It's going to be shot straight towards you. So you got to be prepared for that. It's hard to predict when that's going to happen, of course, but it does happen, as you just saw. Obviously, going to take birth right here. We have a reroll. I can't as as hard as it is for me to pass up the dollar in that in that scenario. The pack is just we we just need it too bad right now. Get lost fly here. I probably should have bombed. Okay. Get crack jacks and oh my goodness. Forgotten lullaby. Oh 
man. Are we really going to take Forgotten Lullaby for Demon Baby? No. <laughs> I mean, look, like, yes, Forgotten Lullaby is a, is a great trinket because it just makes your followers better. But if we had any, if we had like uh, the smallest iota of a tears up, of a tears rate better than what we have right now, I would take it. I would take it for the lols. I would take it for the memes. But we don't. We just got done getting the pact. And I don't know if you saw that or not, but when we dropped the cancer trinket, our, our tears rate goes to 3.3, which is acceptable. That is a that is a decent a decent tears rate, but I want better tears rate. I'm not I don't care about Demon Baby that much. You know, it's better than no trinket at all, but it's not the trinket that we need right now. The trinket that we need right now is anything that augments our damage in a positive way. But we're looking and hoping that we get some kind of tier effect. That would be it would be quite nice if we managed to do so. But speaking of Path of Exile for a little bit, um, yeah, I, I made a I made a character. We're trying out a summoner build, which I've never ever tried before in in all my years of playing Path of Exile. I've, I've been playing Path of Exile since Technical Alpha, way back when. I mean, way 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 back when. Um, it, the, the game was was heavily in beta or heavily in alpha I should say and uh, I like I just I don't know for some reason I don't like things it, it like it shouldn't really it shouldn't really surprise any of y'all to know that like I don't like things fighting for me I like to do the fighting myself and it translates to my tendencies in Isaac because like I don't like I don't like demon baby for example because it fires for me and I don't want I, won't, I don't want that I can fight my own battles um, and that's kind of my philosophy on like necromancer builds or summoner builds or anything like that. I just haven't really cared for them in ARPGs. No, I, I, I'm not even going to touch the item. That's how much I don't want that item. And I know mom transformation, yada, yada, yada. I know. I don't care. Um, I just, I don't know. Like, I, I just have never been cool. Was that body floating? It definitely looked like it was floating. I've just never been down with the idea of just summoning a bunch of stuff and then letting them fight for you. It's like, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go do something else. <laughs> I don't know. It, again, that's a, that's a Synvicta complaint. Like, I just, it's just not my play style, you know. Um, but I will say... That all that being said, I have I am having fun playing raging uh, summon raging spirits SRS. It's a very simplistic way to play, but I will say that I've I've been just plowing through everything. Um, so it's it's been fun. It's been fun. I I always take one league on, one league off with Path of Exile, and this this league was no. I, I had no idea. I had no preconceived notion of what the actual league mechanic was. Um, all I know is that it was called Affliction. That was it. What am I doing? Already tried the secret room. We've already gotten into the secret room. In fact, we need to go back to the secret room so we can go into the boss trap room. This is, this is what I get for for thinking about other other games right now. We we can't afford to do that. It's the Binding of Isaac to play right now. So you see that we can kind of use it as as a pseudo Tammy's head, in a weird way. Also notice that uh, Demon Baby's fires, Demon Baby's tears are actually going through. Multi-dimensional baby, and these are and those are also triggering uh, the multi-dimensional baby effect, which is real nice. Let's go before we go fight. Before we go fight the boss, let's go back in here and go do the boss trap room. I know I know the shop is going to be down here, but maybe we can get ourselves another soul heart. Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, if we can get. We have a we have an absolutely massive opportunity here. If we can end up getting seven cents, we now make it six cents. Oh, it's it's gonna happen. Oh baby, so we have a massive opportunity here. If we end up getting a an angel deal, basically at any point, we get an angel deal, we will be able to make a ton of angelic items. So this is this is a pivotal floor right here.
This is this is such a this is such a big event in this run that like I'm, uh, it's completely derailed me from talking about Path of Exile. So the plan here is going to be it's going to be going, it's going to be getting Diplopia. We can even maybe possibly even afford. It's not even worth it. We could possibly even afford um, the stop watch, which I would love because obviously we need more movement speed. Bro, we gave you five keys. Okay, so what we do is we go... We go use... We go buy Diplopia. We buy the... Well, we actually can't afford it so hard. We buy Diplopia. We buy the stopwatch. We get an angel deal. Hopefully, we get an angel deal. And then here, <clears throat> we use Diplopia inside of the angel deal to duplicate whatever angelic items are in there and then use Perthro to get those items and hopefully get whatever we want. That's the that's the whole plan here. This is, this is what we this, this is what happened. Seeker might be here. It's hard to tell. Okay, I love seeing this room. Very easily farmable room here. Got to be careful of the demon fires. So that includes but it's not limited to us watching our double shots. So do not care about Kane's eye. Okay, so here we go. Don't make us till floor five to get ourselves an angel deal here, game. I know you're going to anyway, but I'm just preemptively being mad about it. Almost as if I played this game forever. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Victor, you could have gone and played the sacrifice room. That is true. We could have played the sacrifice room, but even if we had played the sacrifice room and assuming that we would have gotten like one or two angel items, I'm still not going to use Diplopia or Perthro in there, right? So why even try to use all of our just acquired HP for something that I really am not going to min -met with? Is this the boss room? What in the hell? I've never found the boss rooms in such close proximity to the item room on the start. This is the weirdest floor I've ever seen. I mean, the game is clearly trying to give, trying to make up for uh, for boss rush. What is going on in this room, by the way? Game really wants us to get boss rush, and I, I mean, I'm fine with that. Got double husky. So yeah. So I, anyway, I'm not going to if I'm not going to be able to get the most out of a room. That's going to cost us a lot of HP. I'm not going to bother with it. It's it's inevitable. We're, we're going to take hits. The the Curse of Darkness is actually kind of a, a big obstacle in this room. Um, so, yeah, th that's that's the reason why I'm not going to play the sack room there. I, I would rather have this HP for something else. Sack room plays are so great. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to use Diplopia or Perthro in that instance. So, we don't have a bomb, and we have no way of actually, we have no way of actually triggering Gabriel. But you can just keep it, game. I'm purposely going to leave seven cents on the ground to show you my disdain for Pageant Boy. I will not give the game what it wants. And also, I really, I really should have thought about. I was so surprised seeing the angel deal so close that like, I was caught off guard by the fact that like, we were about to go into. We were about to go into the the angel deal. 
Now here's the now this, this is another thing. Here, here's the hoping that we can actually get into the angel deal uh, via the sack room. Of course, I say that, but we just lost a uh, soul heart here, so plan might be dead in the water unless we find some red hearts somewhere. Why? Is it me or is this curse of darkness way darker than it usually is? It's like the, I don't know, it's like the, the silhouette effect on the right side of the screen and, and left side of the screen is just totally out of whack right now. We do have a bomb. If we can get back into the angel deal, then obviously we can trigger it. Um, but to be honest, a single item angel deal pedestal was not phenomenal. We could have made four items in there. If we get enough red hearts, I will do it. The thing is that we haven't gained any stats in a while, other than movement speed, which is, again, something that we needed, but it doesn't help our offense. And uh, obviously, the, the gift that was this floor um, for the really, really short turnaround to the boss room is uh, not going to matter for our boss rush because we're not going to go to boss rush at this point. That's fine. We could have made a play to maybe try to make boss rush happen, especially with having Diplopia per throw, but I want I want this angel play to happen. I haven't even been to the item room yet. Humbling Mundada, which I will take. Only bundle is going to turn all pickups into doubled pickups. Except for soul hearts, unfortunately. There's no such thing as a double soul heart, although that would be very awesome. See, but here's the problem is we're not getting red hearts for me to replenish if we do end up going into the sack room. So the option of ha like we still have the the exact same option for a devil deal as well. I'm not saying one is going to be better than the other. The the option for having the appeal of having an angel deal to do that with was way more exciting than a devil deal. We get a golden bomb here, so we can we can try for the super secret room up in there. I doubt it's it's not there. I almost guaranteed. Secret room could be there, but it's definitely probably not. Super secret might be there. I was trying to avoid myself getting hit by the spiked rocks. So, oh man, I don't I don't feel good about playing the sack room here safely. No clue where the secret room is. Can't be there. It can only be at the end of the curse room. Here. Okay. Oh. Although, we alternatively, we do have a play where we can double missing no and then re-roll the secret room pool, which is something we might actually be doing. We hit the abort button on the angel room sack room play. That will be the next play. Our shot speed is already trash, but we need we need something like piercing shots here. Ironically, having the tier detonator tier detonator would have been better. Um Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop Perthrow before we use the Diplopia so we can get two rerolls out of this, right? So we're going to do Diplopia, Perthrow. I want either one of those. Perthrow. And yeah. <sighs> uh, well, we shot our shot, and it was a big misfire. But hey, at least we tried. 
do find the ultra secret room first try, so maybe our tenacity will be rewarded. Wouldn't bloody count on it, but who knows? <laughs> okay. You know what? Uh, that's that's totally fine with me. Totally fine. Uh, if, if that was the if that was going to be the ultimate the ultimate send off for to the dirty pageant boy uh, points. I don't pick them up. I'm fine with all the void here. Another curse, man. Curses have just been insane this week. It wasn't the best outcome for like potentially what could have been amazing. The the play there that screwed everything up was me not having a bomb for that angel deal. That's that's where everything went awry. Which I take, of course, responsibility for. Get the wafer and happy with that, because at least we don't have to worry about taking full damage from things. You get the full charge here on the red key, but unfortunately, um, without us knowing exactly what where we are in the map, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see uh, if going into rooms is going to be worth it or not. We can't. We literally can't go in there because it's going to cost us another soul heart to get out of. So we're connecting from a curse room. This is a lot of keys. I'm going to take them, especially with humble. Bundle. So yeah, it wasn't the it wasn't like the perfect outcome for, to that, but we did come away with a red key. We did come away with Maw the Void, which of course is the biggest one out of all that. So you know, it, it's it's better than nothing, I guess is the best way to put that. It's the nicest way to put it. We get a judgment here. Now I definitely would like to get some HP because our HP is not great. If we can manage to get more damage, however, I will be feeling a lot better about our situation. And instead, we end up getting restock, which does give us a uh, does give us a angel deal boost. The cancer trinket just come back because I'm pretty sure it just came back. And not, like, I'm fine with that. Don't get me wrong. Like, hey, welcome back, cancer trinket. I don't know why you're here though. Wait, no, I'm an idiot. We dropped we dropped the, the cancer trinket. Okay. Yeah, uh, no, don't listen to me. Yeah, we had the we already had the cancer trinket and I dropped it because I didn't notice that we picked up the, the second hand. We didn't magically spawn a second cancer trinket there. Look, I can I can fi figure things out, you know. It, it might take me a little bit. I might be a little bit behind the ball, but you know. Eventually, I do. I do think about things. <laughs> Full charge here again. I'm just kind of winging it to find where the ultra seeker room is. Or I mean, we could find the eye mirror room at this point. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I don't know what hit us here. There must have been, I guess, an eternal fly or something. Well. Thank goodness we got ourselves the full card because that would have been a very short run. There we go. Yeah, we use a bomb here. Maybe we'll get something out of the sack. We didn't. I mean, we got something out of it, but it wasn't what we wanted. So if you're if you're wondering how did we get an IM error room there, it's because we went off the map with the red key. So if you go if you go beyond what the game has spawned for this map, even on like the hidden spawns of uh, of red doors, you will be taken to the eye mirror room. That is unavoidable. But going to the eye mirror room obviously would present a little bit of a, of a problem here. Not only would the run just end, um, sure, why not? Oh, it's a double 
Double uh, item room. Oh, we found the Ultra Seeker room, baby. Not only would the run just end after Isaac, it would also... Um, it would also make us leave this floor automatically, so... I'm shocked that we ended up finding the Ultra Seeker room. I was just doing it randomly. I wish I could hit, sit here and be smarmy and say like, hmm, yes, I knew that it was there. I deduced where it was thanks to the context clues of the map. No, I had no freaking clue, dude. I was just picking a random... We, we just got a full charge and that was it. And it did end. Got plenty of money, so I'd love to find the shop. The Tienda. Yeah, Tienda. A Norwegian Spanish. Yeah. Uh. I figured I'd try. I didn't want to go left because obviously that's where the I am error room was. We know that the we know that mom is gonna be up here, so there we go. Here's the good stuff. Now Queen of Hearts presents us with an interesting play if we end up finding a sack room. Especially, especially with us having the wafer. Press F to pay respects to the play that was though. Again, the where where I screwed up was not was going into the angel room without having that bomb. That was that was the game changer here. But again, it's not like we it's not like we came away empty handed, right? Like we didn't we're not leaving here with nothing. We just could have had some so much more. My gosh, it's a non curse floor. Movement speed upgrade. Movement speed is now thoroughly handled. In fact, we have too much movement speed. I know it looked like that we got that charge from taking a hit, but that was actually because we cleared the wave. No. See, the thing is, I don't want that. Really care about the nickel. I'm going to elect to not be in this room. And I'm going to be elect to not be in this room either. All right. So pawned ourselves anyway. All right. We could also use our full charges and just get to the IM air room and just skip womb one altogether. We really truly wanted to get off of this floor. Another eternal heart, which is fine by me. We get sack altar. Sorry, demon baby. Not sorry. We end up getting uh, Leviathan and also get Incubus. So having flying is going to be fantastic for us. And of course, Incubus just doubles our damage essentially. So Leviathan's really, really, really going to open things up for us with Maw the Void. We are now in we're now in cruising mode territory here. Ultra Seeker might be to the left here, actually. Eh, it still could be there. But it could have. So because we see a door on the left that's open, we know that that goes to a regular room. Meaning that it uh, it was a good it was a good candidate for the ultra seeker room, but it wasn't quite there. Could be off of the secret 
Secret room, though. Stars card and a Wheel of Fortune. No, thank you. Yeah, I think I'll take a chance with the Stars card. Okay. The Ultra Secret Room is most likely south of the Super Secret Room. That's, what, that's the read that I'm getting here. Or not. I know I said south, but then I was looking at the map, and that didn't make much sense. But I guess it still technically could be there. Using our powers of God and anime and friendship on our side, we can use our spectral tears to make it to where the infamy masks cannot hit us and also their shots cannot hit us. A range upgrade and another failed devil deal. First of the lost, and oh man, you sure have been giving us our fair share of counter curses here, game. Trying to have a little bit of fun with the red key, you know, wrap up the run and leave everybody happy. And let them go home happy. You know, everyone comes out and watches these videos on on stadium screens and stuff. We all know it. Okay. That that'd be the question of the episode: is who watches this on the biggest screen? Got ourselves a library. Who watches my daily videos on the largest screen out of all the mosh pit? That's what that's what I want to know. Bonus points if you can provide proof. We did have the member of the mosh pit last year. It's Butler's Chubb. Um, member of the mosh pit last year who was playing... He was playing uh, Thrive. He was playing our album. Well, one of our songs, anyway. On Over, like, the PA speakers at work. In, like, this big, big industrial, like, warehouse-looking place. And that was awesome. I know that's not a screen, but like that's like one of the largest scopes I think that our music has ever been played on. Unless someone's broadcasting on a radio that I don't know about. But I want to know what's the biggest. Who watches these videos on the biggest screen in the mosh pit? Wait, I'm, I'm just going to be patiently waiting for Rainbow Globe, and those things are super fast. Okay, we're just going to do this room again, I guess. Waiting for someone to post, like, a picture of, like, a projector or something. Side, the side of Times Square. That would, Now, that would be new heights for Isaac. I don't remember if this is the floor that we got rid of our hearts, our Queen of Hearts card on or not, but I know that their red hearts exist on this floor. Yeah, I think this is a I think this is a take all approach here, especially with lusty blood. Piercing shots, count me in. And I'm getting a uh, little horn as well, which is going to give us those big horn hands. The glowing orange tears right there. If they come in contact with an enemy or statue or really anything. Uh, big horn. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, it's our tears raid is still trash. So, um, big horn will come out and grab and destroy anything there. The mini charge. So we have a we have a few different options for the ultra seeker room here if we can find it. Of course, it's very nice whenever you have multi shots like Inner Eye, for example.
Or we're getting a little, little too big for our britches here, but we are still plowing over everything. I know that we did not... I know that the Ultra Seeker is not there. Where I originally thought it was. I know it's not here either, but... Going in. And thing that, the thing that we've been lagging on truly on this run... I know it's kind of crazy to say on a winning run, but seriously, the thing that we've been slacking on and lacking on is damage. Damage has been just non-existent in terms of our upgrades here. See if we can bug out Monstro here. Let's confuse him. There he goes. <laughs> that Monstro is a little bit perplexed. really quick shot there by Isaac as in like he fired fast like not that the shot speed was fast but okay let's stop taking damage now let's literally no reason for us to be taking any of this damage we have a stopwatch we have a, a crazy amount of movement speed a little bit too fast movement speed admittedly me getting over over eager and over aggressive with uh, Maw the Void. There's the jostling. You got to word out. There's a lot of jostling going on in this run. Now it goes Isaac, and uh, let's see where the Hermit card ends up taking us. Field duplex. This gives us bookworm and mini mush. All right, hermit card. Took us one room to the south. Thank goodness we have lusty blood because at least we can get full damage like this. It's been. I, again, super surprising to, to see the lack of damage here. Maybe. Okay. So let's stop taking damage, period, now. I mean, I know that we've got, like, jostling going on and lust and everything, but, like, we're taking way, way, way too much damage. I feel like the game is on repeat today. Just getting like repeating rooms over and over again. I'm gonna take Lard because I want the HP and we're not going we have so much movement speed we're not even affected by Lard. So Bloat got pushed upwards. Think this is the right way? I, for one, am happy that at least we kept multi-dimensional baby on that sacrifice room play. Or the sack altar play, I should say. Yo, I'll take one more stab at the Ultra Seeker Room. The regular Seeker Room, which is very unexpected, and we've gone the wrong way. All right. All right. There we go. There's the east and south, east map portion of the map. Now it's big on it's big horn versus big horn versus little horn. Little horn's making this very confusing. Hey, okay. this is the west side of the map, everybody. We'll just check this room here real quick. Yeah, it's a sack room that we don't care about.
The time for Sack Room to show up was when we had that Queen of Hearts card. See what I mean? Like it's like this run is on repeat. Like we're getting we're getting just repeat rooms with slightly different variations. We had, Chub, we had double Chub, and then we had double Chad, and now double Lust. It's a pattern, I'm telling you, man. It's patterns, man. It's patterns all over the place, man. This is the, I think, biggest chest I've ever seen. This, like, if you look at the map, it looks like we're in Void. If you didn't know any better, you would think that this was Delirium. There we go. Okay, good. All right. See, this is the right way to go. And it is, hallelujah. So we went an entire run without getting a single damage upgrade outside of the pack. Um, that is, it's quite impressive that we did this run in under an hour. And that's mostly thanks to the fact that we've had inner eye and I suppose multi-dimensional baby. We've had, we've always had a shot multiplier on this run. Little horn of course also helped out, but we didn't get little horn until much later. And also, yeah, shout, shout out to the, shout out to the wafer for making us not die. I don't know if we would have died if we didn't have the wafer, but we took so much damage from bad positioning and also jostling with um, with uh, Maw the Void. So, Thank you for watching, everyone. And yeah, your question of the episode is going to be, who watches these Isaac episodes on the largest screen? What is the largest screen that these are watched? Post them in the comments down below. Again, it doesn't have to always be Isaac related. I'm very just genuinely curious about that. And bonus, bonus points if you end up... Uh, throwing in a picture there on the Simvicta subreddit as well. I'd love to see those. And thank you, everybody. Here's to hoping that the Glitch Chaos run happens tomorrow. If it doesn't, then we're definitely going to hit the mark by Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. As always, I will see you all next time. Have a great Saturday, Mosh Pit. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Luke, Lucas Wagner, and Daniel Lynch. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.